What's going on guys, Big Mike 717 Owl here with you. We are back at Beaver Springs. We have the Busa ready to go with her new radials. Uh, we're gonna see what she can do. We're hoping for nines today. See if we can make it happen. guys well it's the next day we had a good night of racing still only managed to hit 10 2 as our best time up at beaver uh still having a couple issues with my launch i just can't seem to find that happy medium on getting off the line it's either the front wheels coming off the ground or it's bogging really hard and it's killing it i tried slipping the clutch a bit more later in the night and i was getting off the line a little bit better but i ran out of time and just couldn't get enough passes Plus I had an issue too is the bike was getting really, really hot. Uh, I tried putting the fan on as much as possible. I limited it to about three passes an hour. So do a pass, let it cool down, do a pass, let it cool down. And just kept going through the night and I got about 12 passes. Um, we were consistently running, even with bad launches, we were consistent with 10 threes and 10 fours. But we just couldn't seem to get much lower. Then once I really started to play with the clutch a little bit more, which we're still getting used to, it's a fairly new clutch maybe has about 18 passes on it or so 
So we still have some testing to figure out with that. The radials are doing perfect. I couldn't ask anything better. And the Shinko hookup is probably one of the best tires. Now, this is, like I was saying, this is about where we're making contact with the track. Uh, I did do a little bit of playing around with air pressure. It seems like our best bet is about 23 PSI in these tires. And then when we do a burnout, they heat up just a little bit to get a little bit stiffer. But these things are doing phenomenally. Like I can't, I'm surprised that tires made uh, that big of a difference. I figured they'd make a difference, but I mean, power wheelie, power wheelie, power wheelie. That's all she wanted to do. Uh, no spinning off the line. But anyway, we're gonna put a few more mods into the bike before the next time. I think I'm just gonna do the mirror block off just to completely get the mirrors out of the way. Uh, and I'm gonna be looking at a Brox front end strap kit to hopefully pull the front end lower. So that way it doesn't want to wheelie as hard or hopefully doesn't wheelie at all. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we're still pushing for nines. We've done it before. I just don't know why. I think because of the winner pretty much killing it for me getting my nine second pass then taking off pretty much all winter and then getting back into it just a little bit later than I wanted to. Uh, I think it killed it and I just can't seem to get that rhythm again. So we'll see. We're going to keep pushing for that nine. I really do want to make this an eight second street bike at some point in its lifetime. Uh, whether I have to do nitrous, turbo, whatever, we're going to see what we can do. The Busa is ready to rock. I know I've seen guys do ridiculous times. I've been watching XDA street racing and not street racing but like pro street racing there's guys on real street boosts that are my size that are running like 790s on boosts all motor so we're gonna see what we can do i know this bike has a lot more potential in it i just have to get a better grip of it i am also considering too of doing a cable clutch conversion to get rid of the hydraulic clutch because it gives a little bit better feel uh, i noticed that a lot with the r6 the r6 has a cable clutch and the hayabusa has a hydraulic clutch so it's a little bit different play but we got some things to play with we're going to try and make it happen as always guys i hope you like the video if you do please give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment uh, if you want to know anything more about the setup on the bike what i do if you guys want to go racing i think it'd be awesome uh, i've met up with a couple people up at the track that have seen my videos uh, it's awesome to get to meet you guys awesome to get to race you guys but we're going to see what we can do we're going to keep pushing uh, i know this bike has a lot more potential I just have to get my rider level up to the potential that this bike has, and we'll try and get to it. All right, guys, remember, ride safe, ride smart, always your helmet. See ya.